Hey, what's up guys, Theo Joe here. Now, AC Wi-Fi has been around for a few years now. It's in many, many routers, but there is actually a new protocol called 802.11ad, which is in use in some new routers. Now, I don't think this new protocol is going to replace N or AC anytime soon. I would consider this more of a special purpose protocol, but it does have some very unique abilities that I think are going to be game changing potentially. So let me explain what AD Wi-Fi is compared to what we have now. So the first one we have now mostly is wireless N, which uses 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Then we also have wireless AC, which only uses five gigahertz and is significantly faster than wireless N. But now the new one is AD, which actually uses 60 gigahertz frequency. This much higher frequency has some advantages, but also some disadvantages as well, some pretty big ones actually, which I'll go over. First of all, AD is much faster, obviously, compared to AC, which has a theoretical max of about 1.3 gigabits per second. AD has a theoretical max of about 4.6 gigabits per second. And because it uses 60 gigahertz, which is very uncommon for other wireless devices, that means that there's gonna be very little interference with other devices, if at all, and that also means because less interference, there's gonna be much less latency. Now, you might be thinking, why the heck would you need 4.6 gigabits per second? That is too much speed, I would never be able to use it. And I actually tend to agree. For general purpose Wi-Fi, I do not think AD would be very useful, especially considering the number one disadvantage, which is it is very short range. In fact, at 60 gigahertz, that frequency really can't even pass through walls. So to get the AD speed even, you would have to have it out in the open. You wouldn't be able to put it in a closet or anything like that. It would have to be in line of sight in the same room. So now I know what you're saying. You're saying, what is the point of that at all? It can't even go through walls. What the heck is the point? And again, I agree, it's not very practical for routers, at least at this point, but that kind of high wireless speed does have other very useful purposes. Specifically, I'm talking about things like wireless VR, virtual reality. That is what I think this type of AD protocol is going to be used for in the near future. Because look, I think I can assume that anyone who has tried good VR, meaning an Oculus Rift or a Vive, knows that virtual reality is amazing and is going to be huge very soon and it's already very popular. But the number one annoyance, the biggest drawback for VR at that level is the huge wired tether that you have to use to connect it to the computer. Sure, there's mobile VR that uses your phone, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about proper VR that connects to your computer, uses a high powered GPU to push high resolution, high frame rate, and amazing graphics, which you can't do on a phone and really requires a massive amount of bandwidth to put through that wire. You just can't do it wirelessly. You're gonna need a wire with it. And that's gonna be even more true when they start increasing the resolution of these VR headsets. Their goal is to get at least 4K VR, which is gonna use even more data. However, if we were able to get to true wireless virtual reality, it would be a game changer. It would be incredibly immersive and the wireless signal wouldn't even have to go through walls, you would just have to have it in the room you're playing in. Also, if they were to go with the AD protocol, you basically wouldn't have to worry about interference at all for two reasons. First of all, as I mentioned, basically nothing else uses 60 gigahertz signal, so there wouldn't be anything else to interfere with it in the first place. And second, even if there was something to interfere with it, it can't go through walls, so nothing would be able to get in to interfere anyway, unless it was something else in that same exact room. So you would have this higher frequency and lower interference, which would mean low latency, and you would have much higher speeds, which are all critical if you wanna get wireless VR. But I don't think VR is the only application here. I think in the future, most devices are gonna have this type of wireless technology. Maybe not AD, but something similar. For example, maybe TVs will all have some sort of wireless module in it that wouldn't need any wires except for power, of course. So instead of having to plug every device into the TV with a different wire running out of ports on the TV, every device, including the TV, would have the same wireless module and they could all connect to the TV wirelessly. You could connect as many things as you want. Or perhaps you could do something where the router is like a central hub and you would plug all video devices into that, like your cable box, and then you could have wired base stations go to every room, which broadcast that signal into every room. And then any device could access 
that same video feed from any of the devices. So you don't have to have one in every room. It just plugs into the same one in the central hub and then you can access it from anywhere. Now that might all sound like it's a long ways off, but I wouldn't be so sure. I mean, this protocol is pretty new and is capable of uncompressed video, for example. So it's just a matter of making stuff like this, this type of wireless transmission, cheap enough and small enough to fit into most devices. I think eventually what will happen is wireless will be fast enough to be used in most cases. It will just be the default instead of wired. Now wired obviously wouldn't go anywhere, especially if you don't really care about portability, but you also need reliability. And obviously power is gonna be another issue. I think for a while we are gonna be limited by battery technology, but with more and more devices being connected every day, extremely fast wireless is gonna be very important. As for which routers do actually support AD though, there's only a few on the market right now. Netgear, for example, recently announced their Nighthawk X10, which does do AD, but it's a whopping 500 bucks, not exactly entry level. So clearly this is just the beginning, but it is exciting. So I'm obviously gonna be keeping a very close eye on all these wireless technologies. I think we will start to see VR headsets using high speed Wi-Fi. I really do pretty soon, maybe even in the next generation, who knows. And you guys can let us know what you think down in the comment section as well. Maybe if you can think of other really cool applications, do you actually want an AD router? Maybe you can actually use it, even though I don't think there's really any devices that support it yet. And also, if you did like this video, if you thought it was interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos at least three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, oftentimes more, so it should be worth it. And if you wanna keep watching, I've got some other videos right here. You can click on those even if you're on a phone. It's a new type of annotation. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and as usual, have a good one.